Hello everyone. In this video we are going to talk about simple interest. So what is simple interest? Well, to know that, let us talk about these two people, A and B. Now A lends some money to B. In other words, B borrows some money from A. And B uses this money and after her work is done, she returns the money to A. Well, how much money she returns to A? Well, she returns the amount that she borrowed from A plus some extra money. And that extra money which she paid for using A's money is known as interest. Right? So let us say that B uses A's money for N years. And A says that if you use my money, then you will have to pay me interest at the rate of some R percent. Okay? Which means that the interest will be dependent upon the rate of interest as well as the number of years. So let us look at the terminology. The money given by A to B, that means the money lent or the money borrowed is known as principal. And the money or the total money returned is known as the amount. And this amount is basically the principal amount plus the interest. Now comes the point where we write the formula for simple interest. And this is a simple formula. Simple interest is equals to P N R upon 100. Now P is the principal amount that is lent. N is the number of years this amount is used by the other person. And rate is the rate of interest that is decided using which the interest is calculated per annum. Now basically interest is of two types. One is simple interest, another is compound interest. We will talk about compound interest later, but now what is simple interest? Well, if you assume that this interest is calculated yearly, that means n becomes 1. So this interest will be basically the r percentage of p. Now every year when you calculate interest, you take the principal amount the same. That is the initial amount lent by A to B. But in case of compound interest, it's different. While calculating compound interest, the previous year's interest is also added to the principal amount and then the interest is calculated. But simple interest is very simple. You just take the principal, multiply it by the number of years and take the R percentage of it and you'll get the simple interest. So this is a very important formula. Keep this in mind. Everybody remembers it. So easy. Let us solve a problem now. So the question is, Julie borrows 10,000 rupees from Anil for 5 years at the rate of 2% per year. What is the interest and the amount returned to Anil? Well, Julie borrows rupees 10,000 from Anil. So the amount borrowed is actually the principal amount and therefore P is equals to 10,000. And we have been given the time for which this amount is used by Julie. And that amount is 5 years. So we have N is equals to 5 and we have been given the rate at which the interest will be calculated per year. So R is equals to 2%. That's 2. Okay. Now let's calculate the simple interest. Simple interest is equals to P times N times R upon 100. Right. So P is 10,000, N is 5, R is 2 upon 100. These two zeros get cancelled out. What we have is 500 times 2 and that's 1,000 rupees. So this is the simple interest. So we have found out what is the interest. Now we have also been asked the amount that is returned to Anil. Amount is actually principal plus interest. So we have amount is equals to the principal is 10,000 plus interest is 1,000. So therefore the amount that's returned to Anil is equal to 11,000 rupees. So most of the questions involving simple interest are pretty straightforward just you just need to remember the formulas